Hey, this is Pizza Dude Man, and uh, I think I talked about doing something like this. I'm probably not going to do too many of my own speculation videos anymore now that we're getting official announcements for SSB4, but uh, instead I'll look at some of those official announcements for SSB4. Uh, so far, today we got the, uh, besides the trailer, of course, we got the launch of the new website, which I'm not sure if that's going to be called the Dojo or what, but we do have it. Um, right now there's not much information on it, lots of pictures, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. So like I said, so far there isn't much information, just a lot of pictures, and uh, those pictures are of the uh, the characters that we saw in the trailer, uh, you know, the veterans plus uh, the two newcomers that we saw in the trailer. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these specific characters. Uh, Mario, it looks like, uh, doesn't have any uh, significant changes to moveset so far that we've seen anyway. Now, the style of the game in general looks a lot brighter and more colorful than Brawl, uh, which seemed to be a lot darker and more realistic. This is more, uh, I think, Nintendo in style. Kind of reminds me of Skyward Sword a little bit. Donkey Kong's fur looks a lot bushier than it did, and it kind of matches uh, his look in some of the newer Donkey Kong games. Uh, also, it looks like uh, from the trailer and from these screenshots that his up B has been uh, improved when it's on the ground, where he'll uh, go inverted and be able to spin very fast with his fists out. Um, this looks like it's a big upgrade to his up B. Link, like, you know, the other veterans, doesn't look too different right now, nor have we seen a, a lot of how his moveset may look or change, but um, his look is a lot more Skyward Sword in style, although his hair is still a little bit darker. Samus' suit looks a lot more updated. It looks very uh, Other M in style to me, a little more streamlined there. Besides that, uh, it doesn't look like she has any significant changes to her moveset that we've seen yet. Kirby really doesn't look all that different. <laughs> Fox's fur looks like it's about in the same style as Donkey Kong, so maybe that's just going to be uh, the look of fur in general in Super Smash Bros., and uh, I think it looks very nice in-game. Pikachu, like Kirby, doesn't look like he's changed a whole lot. Uh, it looks like he's still able to do uh, his Skull Bash attack as well, so uh, it doesn't look like any big changes to his moveset so far. Bowser, like every other character, looks much more colorful and looks a lot more like uh, the way he looks in actual Mario games than he does in uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, but I love the detail of the scales. It looks very, very nice, I think. Also, it looks like there are a few changes to uh, Bowser's moveset. He seems to use a lot more uh, physical attacks, like this sliding kick, which makes sense given the attacks that he uses in Mario games. He does a lot more punches and big physical hits than actual slashes like he has been using in Super Smash Bros. So maybe we'll see more uh, attacks like this from Bowser, and maybe we'll see more uh, updates to moveset like this to make characters match their fighting styles in the actual uh, video games that they come from. Uh, if that's the case, I'm excited to see what happens with Ganondorf. Uh, right now, we don't even have a confirmation of Ganondorf, but uh, we'll see what happens. Pit also seems to have an update with his moveset using some of the attacks that he displayed in Kid Icarus Uprising, and I think that's great. Uh, it looks like he still has a lot of his fighting style retained from Brawl, but with some new attacks to represent Uprising. The Villager, as he's being called, as a representative from Animal Crossing, looks like he has a lot of fun attacks. He looks like he's going to be a, a very surprising character in moveset with lots of references to different things, uh, similar to Mr. Game & Watch, I guess. In these pictures and in the trailer, he showed off a lot of fun-looking moves, like dropping potted plants, dropping bowling balls, cutting down a tree, and uh, probably the one I'm most interested in is this pocket attack. It looks like he has the ability to grab projectiles and then put them in his pocket. I don't know if that means that then he can use that projectile later, but um, it looks like a special move to me. Uh, it also looks like he has this attack that's a homage to Balloon Fighter. Given that case, it looks like we may not see Balloon Fighter as a playable character, but this is a fun little attack to represent him anyway. Mega Man, of course, I was very excited to see as a character. I think it's a great addition to the game. I'm actually very happy that they chose to go with Mega Man Classic. That's the original Mega Man, it's the one that has the most ties to Nintendo. And it looks like they're doing a great job with his moveset. He references a lot of his abilities that he copied from the Mega Man games uh, as attacks in Super Smash Bros. Uh, a lot of them look like normal attacks to me, which is fine. Uh, I think it's a good way to showcase them all. Uh, especially like uh, in the trailer, it looked like uh, he would have Gutsman's attacks as throws, it looks like. And he also has uh, the fire sword as a normal attack. 
Uh, for special moves, it looks like uh, Rush Coil might be one. So I'm really excited to see how they flesh out Mega Man's moveset. There's so much they can do there. Uh, also, it looks like the symbol that they've chosen for Mega Man is a gear. Um, interesting choice, but uh, I think it works. For all of these characters, there are screenshots for both the Wii U and the 3DS versions of the game, except for, interestingly, the Villager. Does this mean the Villager could just be a Wii U exclusive? I have no idea right now, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully, they'll uh, be updating this website periodically like they did with the Dojo, and hopefully we'll get some more information, maybe on some of the stages that were presented in the trailer, and hopefully more uh, gradual additions to the roster. Uh, for now, that's it for this Dojo update. So now that we've seen some official SSB4 information, I might start taking down my old SSB4 videos. Uh, they would look kind of silly at this point. For now, I'll keep the roster critiques up since some of them are newer, but I'm probably going to start letting those ones go too after a while. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that, how much of the videos you think I should delete, and uh, I'm sure I'll have more videos today about the Nintendo Direct. Don't miss out on the live stream at 2 o'clock p.m. apparently, uh, PST.